Hello everybody, welcome back to We Have Learning. And today's video is all about starting a new project with some additional setup. And we are gonna fix some things in the IntelliJ and I will show you what they are. Let's write them down and let's get started. Hopefully today we are going to start a new series of a new framework that will contain how you can build out a new framework that's free from problems. Alright, you know when you open your IntelliJ, you probably end up with last open project. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So I don't like it because if I have multiple projects, when I open IntelliJ, I want to be able to choose from the welcome screen. So, which is why, let's get it fixed. And then let me finish my note here. Alright, let's go to file. And then settings. Let's also write it down here. Right, first, we go to file, then open settings. Next, go to appearance and behavior. Next, we're gonna go to system settings. And do you see under the project? It says reopen projects so on startup. I don't want to reopen the project. I'll just uncheck this one. Okay, that's all. Click OK. Let's test it out. If you can get the welcome screen, then we close this project. I am positive that we're going to see the welcome screen, but you never know, right? Alright. So you can see that it opened the welcome screen, and every time I open, it will open the welcome screen so I can choose from the list. Now I have only one framework that shows up here, but when I end up with another one, I'll be able to select that one. Hopefully better for you. At this time, let's create a new project. And let's choose the Maven project on this one. It's already selected. If not, you can just click on it. And then we're going to click Next. Here, let's write the name, the name of our project. Let's say we have, or we have test. Let's keep we have. In the name field, write the name of your project. You can keep the location same. You don't have to change that one, but if you want to change it, you can definitely save it to a different directory. Okay, let's click this artifact coordinates. Here you see group ID. That's usually the other way around of the website that you're testing. But just an example on that behalf. The artifact ID is a project title or the name of the project. So we can keep it the same behalf. Now it's setting up files and index. Alright, let's add the properties and the dependencies in our com XML file. Let's write down dependencies here. Before we add the dependencies, let's write up the properties. We're going to say properties. We're going to open and close, so let's move it down. And then close this one. And then write properties below with forward slash. Alright. Now we can specify our compiler version here. Say maven.compiler, that target folder. And then I'm gonna choose 14 version. You can definitely choose another version that you're working with. Then also maven.compiler.source. That's the same, 10.14. Alright.
Alright, let's look at some more features that IntelliJ has. The first one is zoom with control plus mouse wheel. That zoom in and zoom out. That's a good feature. You can also do manually, say increase or decrease font size if you search it. And then let's also look at auto import. You can search here. When you say mouse, it shows you the setting. And then it's already selected on mine. If yours is not, you can just check it. And then let's also search in here. Import. And then mine is already selected, but you should check this one. Alright. Let's add the dependencies now. We're going to add Selenium, Java, and then Bonnie Garcia, and JUnit. And let's take a look at the first one. We're going to get the one that's a dot forty fifty nine. And let's copy it to the dependencies section. Notice that we have plural dependencies and we add singular ones inside. Let's also add JUnit for testing or Jupyter. This is where we're going to keep testing and do assertions with. Get this one. Optionally, you can get other versions as well. Let's add it here. And let's add the other one, Bonnie Garcia. Let's search Bonnie Garcia here. It's going to supply the driver manager. Easy driver setup. Okay, version 4. Let's add it to the XML file. You can always get another version, except D. Let's restart the IntelliJ, and it will download JUnit and Bonnie Garcia. As you can see, Selenium was already downloaded previously, so it doesn't need that, and just restart. Alright, welcome screen. Let's choose our project. At the bottom, you can probably see that it's loading. You can see it at the bottom of the page. Alright, all set. And we're gonna look at the project packages and files. And in this video, we're just gonna add the driver or driver manager package. And in the next video, we are going to modify it a little bit then we will look into other packages. In the name of our package, we can write driver or driver manager. No choice. But since I'm going to name my class driver, I don't want to keep the same name, so I might change this one. It's gonna be package and then class. So let's make driver manager is the package, driver is the class. Let's add our Java class. So this is the driver class. Just to get rid of the conflict, let's change the package to driver manager. That's all. Let's add our web driver. And this is one and only driver. According to the design, you can look up singleton design. 
to learn more about it. We can utilize constructors, static blocks, and getters and setters. But to start simple, let's add a static block. It will be initialized whenever this class is loaded. And then we can set up the Chrome driver. And we are going to modify this code a little bit in the next video. Now let's initialize the driver. Is a new Chrome driver. You can see the note on the right side about static block. How it's loaded whenever this class is instantiated. And we're gonna have two ways of accessing the driver object by a getter. And let's write an example here. And then in the example, we say get driver dot get this website. Or optionally you can call driver class and then driver dot lowercase driver because it's a static object. You can call by class name. Thanks for watching, until next time.